Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I'm here with a bonus video today. <laughs> okay, so um, today is my Destashify uh, makes for the month and also I've got some new fabrics I want to show you and I have a really exciting uh, discount code for you guys that I'm going to talk about as well. So all the stuff Destashify, if you're not familiar, Destashify is a marriage of fabric, yarn, crafting supplies, a marriage of that and thrifting that have come together. <laughs> so it's a great place to sell the things that you no longer want to use or um, a great place to find some really great deals um, you can buy from sellers or the things that you buy from Destashify are things that she has been given, um, donated, and then she's selling them at thrift store prices. Um, some of the stuff is from her own stash, I think, um, Carrie Stash, but you can get some really good prices on a lot of the stuff that is sent to her. So that's another option. If you don't feel like you have it in you to sell your fabric that you're just not going to use, but you don't want to donate to Goodwill or whatever, um, you can send it. She'll give you, um, she'll pay for shipping and you can send it to her and then she'll sell it on the site at thrift store prices. So then you know that your fabric is going to people that like really appreciate it and want it and love it and that sort of thing. So that's what Destashify is. And this month, so I know that this is coming to you on the, um, 27th. <laughs> Gotta think for when I'm filming. On the 27th, but um, if you use this code before the end of the month, so you have until um, I'm sure midnight on the 30th, which is Saturday, um, use this code. It's a long one. It's a, a here. <laughs> I'll put it in the description box as well. You can get $5 off your first Destashify order. So if you have never shopped at the Destashify first, maybe you've gone on and looked a little bit and just haven't pulled the trigger, for the first 25 people that use this code, you can get $5 off your very first order. And you have to be a first-time customer. So if you've never shopped, if you've never bought from them before, um, used the site before, like actually bought from it, you can use this code. Um, it's good per once time per person um, for the first time you've shopped and it's only good for the first 25 people that use this. So if you are interested, go take a look at the site. Um, I'm over there all the time just taking a look at things and um, use the code so that you can um, be one of the 25 that gets that $5 off. Okay, so that's the big uh, exciting discount. Okay, let's do my makes for April 1st. Um, and then I'll show you the fabric that I'm going to be using for May. Okay, so um, you've seen all of this basically. <laughs> uh, really only the golf skirt I've made for myself have you not yet seen. Um, so the first thing I made was this dress. This is the Wonderless dress by um, Pattern Emporium. This is like the third or fourth time it's been on the channel this month. Love this dress. In fact, I pulled it out of the, don't look too closely, there's stains on it. I pulled it out of the dirty clothes and it needs to be stain treated and washed. I wear this pretty much as soon as it comes back out, as long as the weather is cooperating. Love this dress. Um, use this beautiful um, Michael Starr's uh, cotton interlock and it's just wears well. Love it. Goes perfectly in my spring capsule wardrobe. I did a whole video on how to stripe match and I will pop a link up to that right there if you're interested in seeing how I did all the stripe matching. So I won't talk too much about that because you can, you know, I made the size 14. I did the full bust adjustment per her, per her requirement or her um, showing what to do. And then I've shortened it an inch above the waist and an inch below the waist. No, I take that back. I've shortened it an inch above the waist, but then there was different cut lines for if you're short, regular, or tall. And so I did the midi for being short. So that is where I got this, but it has been shortened an extra inch above the waist to bring the waistline up to where my waist is. And that is the key for these dresses. It just skims right where it's supposed to. I love this dress. Um, and I didn't do the lowest scoop neckline. I did the middle one. Um, my other dress, I did the lowest scoop the last, the one I made back in the fall. So this one's that middle one. Again, I've talked ad nauseum about this dress. <laughs> still a good one, still wearing it a ton. Okay, um, the other thing I made, um, the other fabric I had was this very interesting stretch nylon crepe. It's a stretch woven um, and you guys have seen this as well. I got two things out of it. Um, I have made, I have a little bit left. I don't know what I'll do with it. I don't think I have enough for another garment, but we'll see, maybe a pair of like workout shorts for myself like running shorts maybe? We'll see. Um, this stuff is so good. And Carrie's got, this is from the Destashify account, and she um, had it in a couple of different colors, like where you could buy it by the yard. Um, I think the tomato red is gone now. And I also, you'll see another color here in just a second, because um, I bought, I purchased a site just on my own. <laughs> I bought um, a 
three yard bundle that was already there in a blue and then I also just bought two yards of the or maybe just a yard and a half of the gray just that she was selling by the yard. I think there were four colors originally that she was selling by the yard and it was this tomato red, um, a charcoal gray, a light gray, what was the other one? Black maybe? Maybe black was the other one. And then I just happened to stumble upon the same stuff. She just had a bundle of three yards that I grabbed um, as well. So these are, <laughs> I made these for my son and you'll be seeing these again in addition to the two other pairs I made for him on Friday for the uh, selfless sewing. But these are the Thomas Track Pants and I um, modified them a little bit. The Love Notions Thomas Track Pants, I made them into shorts and I, um, uh, did a zippered pocket, zippered pocket on both sides, and I have a video that I will pop up here that shows you how I did all of those, how I put in the zippered pockets and everything, and that's exactly how I did it for um, his other pairs as well. The only difference I made, this was the first pair of shorts I made for him, um, was that I put the drawstring on the inside of the waist because he likes to be able to hide that because these are his fancy shorts. <laughs> he now has three pairs, uh, but yes. Love those, and this fabric has worked perfectly. It just wicks, I mean, it, it dries really, really quickly. Um, it, it's a great bottom weight for any kind of athletic. It'd make a good like raincoat or something like that too. Um, especially a more fitted one, because it's got so much stretch in it, but yeah. Those were the shorts that I made for him. And then I had made an, um, I had enough to make myself a green style um, paste skirt which this is a little golf skirt with, it's got the cute little pleats on the back. Um, I used Ponte from my stash for the waistband. I did not have anything in this red color. Um, so it's a little like jarring. This is navy blue, but honestly, I don't tuck my shirts in when I golf. Now, making this skirt has brought to mind that I need golf tops. I have one colored top and I own a couple of different patterns. I own the Jay Lee um, women's polo pattern and I also, and I've made that one um, sleeveless. That's the only one I have in my stash or in my wardrobe right now. But I also bought the, um, is it called the Rafe? polo women's polo shirt from style arc and they even have that one of the illustrations it's a, a gal like in golf wear um so i do have those two that i could play around with um to maybe make myself a couple of colored shirts for golfing but this has been made specifically for golf so it's straight in the front the cute pleats in the back and then there's an option for just briefs underneath it or shorts i made the shorts um, and the fabric I used for the shorts is actually um, a trico, like a knit trico that I had in my stash. I think this was a kit for a Gertie slip at some point. Anyway, it worked great for the, <laughs> for the short parts uh, of these. But there's like a little pocket in, um, on each side here in these little shorts um, for golf balls and that sort of thing. Um, and it's just a quick lift of your shirt or your skirt to get the the into the pocket um and the shorts they come right below the line of the skirt so i did shorten this by an inch and i probably didn't need to i probably could have left it as is and it would have been fine um but yeah ponte from the stash for the waistband i made the size 10. yes is that right or she does I feel like normally Greenstock Creations does like an A, B, C, D, E, F, but I'm pretty sure I made a size 10 because I was in between, um, I could have gone with the eight, but I decided, well, my waist has been inflamed. I'll go ahead and make the 10. If it's a little roomy in the hips, that'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I made the 10. Um, and then she has you put clear elastic into the seam at the top to really help things stay up. And it's so comfortable. This is so comfortable. There's two different waistbands. You can do the standard waistband or the ultra, the high waistband. I did the high waistband because I really like when things come all the way up to the top, um, even if it's a little bit higher. Because again, I'll probably wear my shirt untucked um, when I'm golfing. Maybe I'll tuck it in if I have to, but yeah, for the most part. Um, and I realize what I'm wearing it with. Um, it's just the Constellation pullover from Love Notions. Uh, I just grabbed something from my closet. It really doesn't match the other one I made. So this one wasn't my fabric that I grabbed from um, my haul for to stashify, but I, this is the other um, same fabric, just in the blue. And I've made my son a pair of shorts, which you'll see in a little bit. I actually have quite a bit of this left. And then this is the Ponte that I had from my Tessa sheath dress that I made. And it is a perfect match. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that funny? 
That was just fortuitous. Um, but same thing, made the same, I mean, everything about it is the exact same, um, except it was just a different Ponty. This was this kind of more of a dark blue as opposed to the navy um, on the red one. But I, I'm excited. I got new clubs last summer and I am ready to get out there and do some golfing. I just need a couple of shirts now to go with my navy and my red, which, I mean, that should be pretty easy. Those are in my color palette of making um, collared shirts. So stay tuned for that. But if you're a golfer and you're looking for a good squirt pattern, this one is delightful. I've not golfed in it yet, but it's, I think it's gonna be just really lovely. And this fabric worked out really, really well for it. So that is my paste skirts. Made two of them, even though this one wasn't the fabric, it's the same as the red. And um, I'll link that be below. They don't have either of these colors, I don't think anymore, but she did, last I checked, she did have a couple more. So she still has some of this fabric. Um, I'll link it down below. So those were my um, April makes. Again, you've seen quite a bit. Other than the paste skirt, you've seen kind of everything else. Sorry, I'm also feeling like a drowned rat. It is raining cats and dogs, and I had a meeting this morning, and so I'm feeling very um, disheveled. Okay, I grabbed four fabrics this month. And again, I am gifted um, a $50 gift card at the beginning of the month to spend at Destashify um, in part of this ambassador program. But um, I, everything I'd make is, I'm, or I've never stayed under the 50. <laughs> I didn't go too far though. This one was probably the closest, the closest. I think I got up to 58 on this one. But I've got the, um, the, invoice here so I can remember yardages and stuff but this came from Lois again I bought from her before so clearly um, and I think hers was a situation of having her colors done and these weren't um, all weren't her colors which has really worked out well for me I will say <laughs> all the people that have had their colors done and thought they were a warm palette and aren't has worked out well for me because then they're putting these on to Sashify and then I can grab up all of these um, warm colors because that's my color palette okay Let's get going here. So the first thing that I got, I got this beautiful viscose chalet and it's, see, there's two yards of this. I bought, I grabbed this one for my daughter. Now this does have like some warmer, like olivey greens on there, but the, um, the teals and um, these other greens are like her eye color. Her eye color is kind of like a, a mossy green. So I thought this would work well. And I think this is black that's in here, maybe a dark navy, but um, I think she can still pull this off. And she liked this fabric, so this is all gonna work really, really well. So again, I have two yards of this viscose chalet. It's a very nice weight viscose. It doesn't feel, um, I've not washed it yet, but it doesn't, it's a little bit beefier, you know what I mean? So it doesn't feel like it's gonna shift around like crazy. Uh, but for the shirt, she, I bought a whole bunch of uh, patterns in the last like something delightful sale, um, or maybe it's been a couple of months, they have them rather frequently. But I had bought this one for her and this is McCall's 8198. And we are gonna do the tie front shirt with the longer sleeves in that. So it's got this cute little camp collar, which she loves, a little tied, little crop shirt, and it's got the big sleeves. So um, those are kind of all her, all the things that she loves. Um, and she thought she could wear this really easily with her white shorts or just her denim shorts. Um, but it, it would be a way for her to cover up if she gets a little too much sun, because she is very fair. So I'll be making this shirt for her um, in that Visco chalet, and uh, she's excited about that. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> All right, next up, I have, okay, this is um, one and a half yards of this viscose, I'll call it a viscose crepe. Look, this, I mean, this print, I'm like, I, okay, I have to have that. Look at that, it's my color, it's my yellow that I love, I love that big pattern. Again, I have a yard and a half of this, and it's gonna be a top of some sort. I haven't really decided. I've actually been having a big love affair with cashmere patterns, and I own um, all of their patterns that come in the size zero to 16, and I'm a member of their club. So you're watching this on Wednesday, so on Sunday, the new pattern comes out for the club, which is very exciting. Um, I am excited about April's pattern, which is a skirt, um, a circle skirt, but I think I'll probably use that with the Upton because it can be um, paired with the Upton bodice. Uh, but anyway, I don't have enough for that with this one, but I'm thinking I own the Montrose top and it's a woven top and I've just never made it. So um, I'm thinking I may just try that pattern out and I think this would be a great fabric to um, play around with that. Again, I have a yard and a half of it, so um, I might be able to play around with the sleeves. 
I wonder too. So I own the Upton, which is the Fit and Flare dress, and there was an expansion um, pattern that came out with that with some different like skirt lengths and some and some sleeves that you could put on there. Um, maybe, I wonder if they fit onto the Montrose. I wonder if I could, because the Montrose does have a sleeve on it, but maybe I could play around with that. So I think, yeah, I think this is going to be a, a cashmere at Montrose, just to play around with the woven t-shirt and, um, see how I like it, because I own the pattern and I just haven't made it up. So that is that one. And then continuing on with my love of all things cashmere up, I also recently bought the newest cashmere pattern, which is the Vernon button-up shirt. So this is kind of, um, I mean, Love Notions just released their Aria shirt uh, yesterday. That's a little bit more of a loose-fitting button-up shirt, uh, a little more casual, where I feel like the Vernon, I mean, the Vernon has some really cool, like, sleeves that you can play around with, but I feel like it's uh, a little more fitted, without being, like, fitted-fitted, you know what I mean? Um, so this one can be easily tucked. Um if I wanted to and all that kind of stuff. But I grabbed some of this beautiful, this is a Warp and Weft um, brand fabric. I recognize this because I had made a dress out of a different um, pattern when this fabric was released. It's narrow, it's just the 44 um, width, but I've got three yards of this. And so this is gonna be a Vernon. And I'm trying to decide because I have a cotton lawn in my stash too that's also going to be a Vernon. And I'm, one of them is just going to be the straight, you know, normal shirt, regular sleeves, button up shirt. But I want to make one with the lantern sleeves as well. And maybe there's even a, a little bit more dramatic pointy collar. That one I may use though for the other, because the other fabric I've got is a little bit more wild and crazy. So maybe I'll just make the standard Vernon in this one. But I want to make both those versions of the Vernon. So. Um, I think this one will be just the standard um, Vernon for that. It's just a lovely shirting weight. And that stripe is like woven in. It's so beautiful. And this is going to go with everything in my closet. <laughs> and it's all cotton. So I can see myself, um, you know, out at soccer games, even though this isn't art, the team colors. But, you know, sometimes you're just wearing what you've got on. Um, I think it's just going to be great for all of that. So three yards of that. That's going to be a cashmere at Vernon. And then finally, how much do I have of this? I have one and five eighths yard of this cotton silk voil. And I just couldn't leave it behind. It is very see-through. So it's 52% silk and 48% cotton, but it's 55 inches wide. And I have one and five eighths of a yard. Lois, you've kept fantastic um, records with these little tags you have on your fabric. Well done. <laughs> she even wrote the year that she bought it. Well done. But this, it, it just has animal, I mean, it's not an animal print, but it kind of reads animal-ish to me. I mean, look how see-through that is. It's going to need to be lined, um, whatever I decide to do with it. But I don't know. What do you guys think I should do with this one? This one, I'm up in the air. I don't know what to do with this one. I could make myself some sort of a top that I just wear like a camisole underneath. I mean, that could be really cool. Um, or I could line it. I just got a whole bunch of um, cot like cream colored cotton lawn. So I could do something where I lined it in just like a cotton lawn. Um, Cause I have another something that I made in a cotton voile um, that you guys are gonna see next week, which is very, it's really good. It's very exciting. <laughs> but I got the cotton lawn to line that as well. So um, it could be something along those lines actually. Yeah, this is going to be a surprise because now I'm thinking the thing you're going to see next week that I could make another one out of this fabric. I think I would have enough. And that could be pretty spectacular. So, <laughs> um, it's up in the air, but this is just, it's gorgeous. And I love the print and it's all these warm browns. There is a little, you know, I thought that was black. Well, maybe it is black, but it's almost like just a really, really dark brown. But I think with it being see-through, um, although I don't know, maybe if I put this underneath it, because it would be cream backing it, it's just not as harsh as like a lot of blacks. So I, I think this is this would work absolutely beautifully for um, for me and my color palette, and it would be a really fun basic something that um, that would go with a lot of stuff that's already in my wardrobe. So that is my fourth fabric. All those need to be washed. And uh, yeah, I got those all from Lois. So thank you, Lois, <laughs> for uh, selling your stash. Uh, that works out really, really well. Okay, again, 
Use this code. First 25 people to use this code at Destashify get $5 off their order if it's your first time placing an order with Destashify. I am going to be doing a video. Um, I'm waiting for Summer to get here because um, I'm hiring, my, Tomcat Citri is hiring my daughter uh, to do as a contractor to do a few things um, to help with the channel. Like I said, sorry about the, the cryptic. Um, I am very excited about things that are coming to the channel and I'm sorry I have to be cryptic right now. I shouldn't have said anything, but um, yeah, I am burning the candle at both ends right now. It is temporary, but um, just to get things where I need them to be. But um, yes, I'm gonna be hiring a little bit of help and um, part of that is coming um, in the form of my daughter. So she is gonna be in charge of helping me get the Destashify um, account set up so that I can, the selling account, so that I can sell, go through my um, fabrics and sell the things that um, don't work for me color-wise and stuff that, because a lot of times what doesn't work for me color-wise works for her. Um, but if that's not you know the case, if it's something that she's like, no, I would never, want anything out of that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and sell all that stuff. So she's going to be in charge of that. And uh, I'll let you know when my shop is open, but also um, I'll, I'm going to do a video on how I set all that up. So if you're interested in selling and you're a little nervous about that, although Carrie's got wonderful instructions on the website, I mean, she really walks you through, gives you ideas, all that kind of stuff where you could turn it into a side hustle if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how I get about it as well with the help of a 15 year old. <laughs> who probably is going to be better at all of that than I am anyway. So there you have it, guys. This is my Destashify makes and haul for next month. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this bonus video. Um, Friday, I've got my, um, even though it's the day before the actual end of the uh, contest, but I'll have, I've made eight things for my hashtag selfless sewing April 2020 or 22 the challenge. Um, so I'm going to be entering eight things because you can enter as many as you want. So I'll be entering eight things in on Saturday, but I'm showing you what I'm going to enter on Friday. So that's what we've got. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you guys again on Friday. Bye.